A closer look at the city's unemployment rate, what a Major League Baseball proposal could mean for the San Antonio missions, and some new documents shedding light on the fallout from that controversial vote to exclude Chick-fil-A from the San Antonio airport. Breaking down some of the week's biggest business stories tonight, San Antonio Express News business editor and columnist Greg Jefferson. Thanks for having me. As always, thanks sure, for being no here. Problem. Anytime. Let's start with the unemployment rate at 3% for yeah. San Antonio. We uh, hear of that number and that stat a lot. Exactly. But yeah. what does it really mean? Yeah, so um, my column this week is kind of looking at what does it mean to have a historically low unemployment rate. We're at 3% or we were at 3% uh, unemployment uh, for the San Antonio area, which reaches up to New Braunfels in uh, September. Those are the latest numbers. And that is the lowest, I believe, in 20 years. So this is a big deal. This means, uh, you know, there are only three out of 100 people who can't find work who are looking for it. Um, that said, uh, my column is about um, the fact that we sometimes make too much of the unemployment rate. It doesn't actually tell you how the economy is doing. And there are some uh, things it doesn't look at. Oh, yeah, that's that's right, exactly. Like, it doesn't take into consideration wage, you know, wage growth, uh, which has been fairly slow in San Antonio. It doesn't look at, you know, the number of jobs that don't have insurance benefits. Uh, it doesn't take into consideration people who have to work multiple jobs to keep, you know, just to keep food on the table and to pay rent or mortgage. It doesn't factor in, uh, you know, people who don't have paid sick leave, for example. And I kind of I kind of compare it to uh, the city's the city of San Antonio's uh, credit rating. They got a, they've got a stellar credit rating, AAA. Mm -hmm. um, and the city you know city officials, the the mayor, the city council, the city manager's office, they talk about uh, the credit rating a lot, and so much so that you get the feeling that it means, you know, this is basically somebody outside the city saying this is a really greatly run city. It, it doesn't say that at all. <laughs> all but it said, sounds like an excellent report. Oh, it does. Yeah. I mean, anytime you hear AAA, it's like, wow, that's got to be good. <laughs> and it is if you're talking about debt repayment. I mean, it doesn't say anything about how good our parks are. Uh, doesn't say anything about the crime rate. That you know, all of that stuff is. Those are you know, those are political considerations that really don't get swept up into the credit rating. And just like you know, with the with the jobless rate, there's a lot that just doesn't go into it. So in terms of the jobless rate, is it as simple as out of a hundred people, this is how many don't have a job? It is. It's actually not that simple. Uh, of course, like statistics, they're <laughs> never that simple. Sure. You know, and you would think that this would be, but no, it's uh, this is out of 100 people who are working age and actively looking for work. And this is another thing the uh, the jobless rate does not do. It doesn't take into account the number of people who are working age, but for a variety of reasons, aren't in the workforce. Okay, so the next time you see the latest jobless rate for San Take Antonio, it with a grain of salt, yeah. Or, or the bond rating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there are other factors to oh, consider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you.